Well, hi and welcome. My name is Leslie Page. I'm the Program Development Manager at Visual Arts Mississauga. And today we're going to do a virtual studio visit with Jacqueline Crawley. So join me um, as we find out what her latest project is. Hi, Jacqueline. How are you? Hi, Leslie. Uh, my next project, or the one that I'm kind of close to my heart, is doodling. I think we all doodle, we hopefully. And for me, doodling it's, it's creating ideas, it's expanding ideas. It helps me with my thumbnails when I'm doing, preparing an art piece. So I do these little drawings and because they're doodles, I can be relaxed about it. I don't have to worry about them being perfect. I can also push myself creatively. And uh, so I thought it would be really nice to teach a class on doodles. I think people are going, what's it? I doodle, why would I take a class in doodling? But it's not, it's more than that. It's, it's expressing, it's learning techniques and it's thinking about composition and ideas. Mm. And as an artist, you want to be as creative as possible. You don't want to be doing what everybody else is doing. You, you can learn from other people, but to be successful or even just to get the most out of it, you want to be true to yourself. So your ideas, your, the way you draw everything can go back to the doodle. That's why I, I want it. Jacqueline, what got you interested in doodling in the first place? I do it all the time. I, I, before the internet, before anything, when I used to take trips, I would doodle when I was away from home. Uh, when I'm on the subway or the bus, I will, I will sketch other people or I will doodle. And out of my doodles come, I do an all of abstract work. So it's conceptual sometimes, so the doodles are perfect for that. Is it going to be hard to learn? Is it the kind of thing someone needs to really take a lot of classes to learn? Well, I think with the class, I'd like to start very basically and just fluidly. So it would just be, we, we're going to use very limited mediums, pencils and pens. It can be a fountain pen or a ballpoint pen. It can be just a pencil you have around the house. It doesn't have to be fancy pencil. And we're just going to take a small book or some pieces of paper, and we're going to start sketching like this. Can you show us some steps? I, I sketch a lot of stuff, you know, I doodle, you know, all the Beautiful. time. Just things, things in here that aren't perfect, these are just for my head. They're not observ observation. So in this four week course, how do you envision um, each of the week, like the progression? They're going to work, start with one doodle and use the same doodle each week as kind of the launching place. Well, I did think that each week, say, uh, say one day, one week, we might, we might do pointillism dots. Ooh, beautiful. Uh, and another week, we might use pencil instead. So instead of using ink, we might use pencil. And we, we would oh. do, we would doodle, like I'm sure people have done this before. You're sitting, you're listening to somebody on the phone and you start to draw your cup and saucer. Yeah. And people make good art out of this. If you like the way it is, you know, or this is just out of my head. This is not a real cup and saucer. It doesn't have to be from something. So I was thinking that we would do, you know, some abstracts. So we would just play around Those with are some fun. abstract Those ideas, are different shapes, different balances. Uh, these are curvaceous uh, hatch lines. I don't want to give up the whole story, the whole <laughs> class. But there's going to be enough variety. Each week I will challenge you with some new idea to take your, your doodling to somewhere that maybe you hadn't thought of before. That's the whole idea. I love and you that. can use these doodles to improve your regular drawing, your thumbnails, your creativity, ideas. Like don't be ashamed, oh, you know, that person, they don't look right. Well, that's okay. You actually, all your people in your paintings don't have to be Vogue models. They can be weird looking. It would make it more interesting if they were. Uh, that box doesn't have to be perfectly square, not in not modern times. Uh, it can be a different shape. It can be off perspective. I do teach perspective, but it could be weird. 
and still look fantastic because it gives you an emotional response. So I really do think doodles are more serious than you might think and more fun too, because you're relaxed, you can be yourself and you can experiment. Yeah. Sounds like a fun and class. That's really why I really want this class to run. I not just for my own benefit, but for yours. I want I want the class to have fun and I and, and doodling. Like really, that's got to be fun. Well, and the nice thing is it doesn't take a lot of material. So, like if you're saying, you can use a pen, a pencil, and some paper. So I think it's awesome, and I really hope that people will. Um, think about this seriously. So your class starts on Monday, February the 8th. And if you want to register for this class, please go to visualartsmississauga.com and you can register online. And we hope to see you. Thanks, Jacqueline. We appreciate you showing us your studio today. Thanks, Leslie. I really appreciate it. Take care.